All right. A little frustrating. So we had pouring rain last night. Pouring. Besides the pool being cloudy now, our pool heater is not working. And school's almost over. Kids are having friends over today. I threw some shock in there. Hopefully it's going to clear the water up. But it's cloudy. And I got an error message on the pool heater. Which is a temperature sensor. So I don't know if it's the... I turned it off and on and off and on. It didn't, didn't clear it. See, SF. Temperature sensor. I turned it off. I, I'm going to take this. I took the temperature sensor. Uh, I took out the connector, which is on the top of the circuit board. I tested it. It really wasn't easy to test. It wasn't great. But all I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the side panel off. I ordered another one. It was cheap enough. There's one screw here. One. That means there's gonna be one on the other side also. Three. Wow. Ah. This is the one right here. I'm just gonna unscrew that and put a new one in. So here's where we are with the Hayward pool pump. See that code SF? Service. So what happened was we had torrential rain. The, the heater was fine. Then we had torrential rain and got that code. So I did some research took everything, opened it up a little bit, and it turns out it's this part right here. It's the thermistor, or the, or the thermostat, supposedly. FD XLTR1930. And this is a 400,000 BTU heater. Propane, not that it matters. Uh, but then, this is just four Phillips screws. In my case, it's three, because one of them is missing. So I don't know what you're gonna see, what you can't see, but here, there's one here. There's number two. All right, one, and I'm gonna shut the power off. It could be the main circuit board too. All right, I cleaned out all the nuts and stuff, but I see there's, there was a nest over here. There were nuts down on the bottom. So here's, here's the cable right there. It goes into the circuit board. So pressure switch, inducer, motor. Just right. But of course that's not the right one. This one over here. <laughs> Let's get let me get over there and see if there's another another screw. Oh, there's a a grommet. So I guess it doesn't. Let me see here. I'll pull the grommet out. Go under the wire. Okay. So this grommet goes in the hole there. All right, we'll save that. All right, I wish there was a little more room here. So let me turn this off. So over here you got a pressure switch over here. There's one below it, there's a high pressure and a low pressure. 
and that's the temperature. I wish it was in a little better spot. Got this metal thing right kind of in the way here. But I should be able to get it out. 17 doesn't fit. So it's going to be 18. Now, the question is which way do I turn it? Unscrewing it is going to be pulling up on this. So let's see how much water is going to gush out of here when I open this. I assume there is going to be some water that comes out of here. All right, let's see. Here we go. Oh, not bad. Come on. Wow, this is pretty long. All right, you can hear. All right. All right, here's what this looks like. You can hear the water sucking out of here because I broke the seal. All right, so here's... We got this out. I don't even know if the new one looks like this. The new one looks different. Let's see what the new one looks like. Totally looks different. Nice. Came with this. Let's see if this fits in here. I guess this screws in here. And then this whole thing screws in there. So, what I'm gonna do is take, I guess I will take a little Teflon. Oh, uh, no, you know what, there's a rubber, there's a rubber washer here. So I'm not gonna do any Teflon tape over here. I'll let the washer do its thing. All right, I'm just doing hand tights and it's a piece of plastic. I'm gonna put some Teflon tape over here. It's got a, it's got a screw in. Because this is the only way I can get this damn thing in here. All right, well. Just the starting it part that's hard. The fuck is that? Get the fuck away from here. Just don't want, there we go. I just didn't want to cross thread this. I got it. It's better work after all this. Spinning around. Okay, now I can take that wrench, snug it up. Okay, snugged it up. No over tighten. No over tighten. Let's make sure this thing's tight. Okay. Now, I'm gonna run it where the other wire was, through here. 
this didn't stop any any uh, mice. So I don't know why I even bothered to do this. Thought it might stop mice, but it didn't. show you where it plugs in. Let me show me where it plugs in. I don't even remember. Ugh. All right, so I don't know if you can see. You know, it might be easier if I take off the top part too, the top board, but let me, let me look. This is easy to get to. I don't think it's see. Let's see. Uh, oh. All right, there it is, out. New connector is the same. Let's plug it in up there. And this says water sensor. even let's push it in now all right so it's snapped in and you can see that right up here where it says sensor flame sensor switch all right so it's not connect it's not I still have to take all these things out of here if it works so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it on and see if I can get it to fire up all right, so if it fires up, then I'll turn the power back off and I'll put the wires back where they belong. Boy. All right, let me stick all these things over here so I don't lose them. All right, so let's turn this back on. I bleed the air out of this. Just to give it a chance, I'll give it a chance to test the lease. There we go, all right. All right, now the air is out of here. All right, so let's take a look now. Looks like it's working because there's no, no code as far as I noticed. All right, so standby, that's a good start. You see that? No more code. So mode, spa, pool, it's cold the pool. Let's put it to 82 and see if it fires up. Some motor. Probably igniting at this point. I haven't hit the gas valve yet. Gas valve done. All right. Make sure it runs for a couple minutes. All right, it's good. So it was, in fact, that part, in fact. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut it off. I'm also gonna shut the power, not that I need to. I'm gonna snip this. Pull the old one through.
put a 79 Super Chuzzle off. Yep. All right. It works. Blowing off the exhaust. All right, so that fixed it. The part doesn't look the same. I got the OEM one. It was only like 45 bucks as opposed to like 22 for the uh, non-OEM. So it wasn't crazy expensive and I figured this way it would... All right, there we go. I figured this way I'd know for a fact that it's, it's working. So, all right. Uh, I typically turn off the... Turn that off. I'm also gonna turn off the propane. An old trick, because once that blow through the entire thing of propane, all right, so let's turn this off. We'll button it back up against this. All right. Let's get rid of this. Okay, there's this. 